Mortal Kombat 1 DLC packs don't include alternate skins anymore. Modern Warfare 3's campaign is a series low point. NFT trading volume rose by 35% in October. Creator of Board Ape, Yoda Labs and Magic Eden launching Ethereum NFT marketplace that enforces royalties. Coinbase user agreement dispute reaches U.S. Supreme Court. On PBS, Wild Kingdom returns to TV to inspire the next generation of wildlife enthusiasts. Archaeologists hint Indonesia's giant hidden pyramid likely to be the oldest in the world. Scientists say they finally found remnants of Thea, an ancient planet that collided with Earth to form the moon. Taylor Swift's 1989, Taylor's Version, is the best-selling album of 2023 after only a few days of launch. Dehumanizing, model Shireen Wu says her face was edited with AI to look white. Zelensky says, Israel-Gaza conflict taking focus away from fighting. Russia boosts efforts to recruit female fighters. UK Europeans prefer Ukrainian refugees to Africans and Syrians, says Survey. A secret room in a 16th-century Italian chapel, where Michelangelo hid and drew for months, opens to the public. Aristotle becomes latest casualty in China's narrative war with the West, as scholar questions philosophers' existence. FTX's founder, the crypto king, Bankman fried guilty of one of the biggest financial frauds in American history. Fake ledger app on the Microsoft App Store, steals $588,000. HSBC becomes first bank in the world to offer tokenese gold. Pentagon acknowledges flying unarmed drones over Gaza. Iranian group puts up recruitment posters for suicide bombers willing to attack targets in Israel. It has been reported that ambulance attacked in Gaza transported Hamas terrorists and weapons. Muslim Stanford student injured in suspected hate crime, hit and run. Obama says the war in Gaza is killing people who have nothing to do with what Hamas did. Erdogan says, Turkey crossed out Netanyahu, will bring Israel's war crimes to ICC. Erdogan says once more that, Sweden isn't doing enough against Kurdish militants. Alameda County DA Pamela Price's work laptop has been stolen from SUV in Oakland, sources say. NYC offers migrants free travel anywhere to move. British Home Secretary Sula Braverman wants to restrict use of tents by homeless. Link between brain and heart triggers fainting. Study makes astounding discovery. Moderate coffee and tea intake linked to lower risk of cognitive decline. Amazon's $1 billion cloud deal with Microsoft includes 550,000 licenses for corporate employees and 1 million for warehouse workers. Google backs out of plan to build 20,000 Bay Area homes over market conditions. Japan to probe Google over suspicion that antitrust laws are being broken. Apple argued Safari is three different browsers to avoid regulation. X is reportedly selling inactive usernames for $50,000. Dengue rates drop after release of modified mosquitoes in Colombia. At least 14% of Americans have had long COVID. Cancer cases in India estimated to rise from 14 lakh per year to 20 lakh by 2040. In the U.S., mortgage rates are dropping fast after a shock jobs report set off a series of dominoes on Wall Street. UK Treasury to pay Bank of England £170 billion to cover quantitative easing losses. Fifth bank failure of 2023 declared Iowa Bank insolvent due to significant loan losses. Mexico's president says 10K migrants a day head to U.S. border. He blames U.S. sanctions on Cuba. Germany denies plan to quit £87 billion fighter jet project with France, in favor of UK deal. None of it minimum wage going to $19 an hour on January 1st, GN announces. China is set to mull, revoking degrees of students caught using AI. Researcher claims to crack RSA 2048 with quantum computer. China wants to build advanced humanoid robots by 2025. China's AI analog chip claimed to be 3,000x faster than NVIDIA's A100 GPU. Storm Kieran brings record rainfall to Italy as European death toll rises to 14. India's historic droughts drive up sugar and cotton prices. Harp experiments expected to cause artificial aurora over Alaska. Airbus renews its transatlantic fleet, with lower emission ships. By 2030, the new fleet will generate 50% fewer CO2 emissions, compared to 2023. Ferrari sold more hybrids than gas-only supercars, in Q3. China Railway reports 16.1% rise in business revenues in first three quarters, and China put over 1,400 kilometers of railways into operation, in first three quarters.
Evs take 26.5% share in France, and Dacia's sales springs up. In South Korea, local governments go all out to exterminate bed bugs as infestations spread. U.S. regulators will review a chemical from car tire that kills semen upon request from West Coast tribes. B.C., Ottawa, First Nations announced conservation agreement worth $1 billion. Hamilton will be happy when unloved Mercedes W14 F1 car is gone. Nora Geruda's doping ban lifted after Elser's COVID defense. In the UK, toxic DWP caused mental health collapse in one-third of job insurer team in a year. Berlin police are missing dozens of batons and two service pistols. In France, teachers denounced the growing pressure from vigilant parents, an association created by Eric Zimmer. Doctors from UK, Australia, New Zealand offered easier path to work in Nova Scotia. Labour accuses Rishi Sunak of angling for job after Elon Musk interview. Previously, it had been commented that Rishi Sunak wanted to impress Elon Musk as he giggled along during softball Q&A. Peter White, boys in the band and all my children actor, dies at 86. Crazy Legs developing Prince biopic based on first wife Maite Garcia's memoir The Most Beautiful. Dune, the sisterhood renamed Dune, Prophecy.